Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Sienna and on this channel we talk all things home decor, home aesthetics, mixing high and low with new and old. And in today's video, we are discussing 2024 home decor interior design trends. So if this is something you are interested in watching, just keep on watching. Trends video is something that I do every single year on my channel and I absolutely love bringing this to you guys to just discuss what it is that is trending for the new and upcoming year. Now I've done my fair share of research from very many reputable companies like McGee & Co and Architectural Digest when it comes to things that we're gonna be seeing in 2024. Now I have just broken it down into my favorites that I wanna discuss with you guys, but there are obviously plenty of other ones that we are not going to discuss within today's video. But before we get into it, I do want to just state that trends are trends. These are things that are going to come and go. They are projected to be popular for 2024, but I definitely think, do you? If you love something, then do it, but don't feel like you have to follow the trends. I definitely think being original and being your own person and taking those trends into consideration, but at the end of the day, doing it is what makes you happy in your own home is what truly is important. So I definitely wanna state that because obviously as we are talking about trends, this is not something that you need to rush out and go change within your home. If you are happy, do what makes you happy. But without further ado, you guys, let's get into today's video. So the first trend we're gonna discuss is color. Now, now, there are always as companies like Sherwin Williams and Benjamin Moore that come out with the color of the year. Now, there are three that I want to discuss that is going to be popular this year, starting with brown. Now, we saw brown make a appearance last year, definitely caught some traction, but it is here to stay because brown is definitely melting the hearts of many people. I think we are shifting away from that super contrast like black and white, and we are definitely bringing in more of that neutral color palette like your creams, your browns, your tans and beiges. A lot of people have been loving that trend, so brown is here to stay. Now, another color that is here to stay is green. Now, we saw a huge influx of the color green during COVID 2020 when everybody was stuck in their homes. A lot of people were getting house plants and incorporating that green color in their home because green kind of represents nature. It kind of embodies a very soothing feeling. And so as it was very popular then, it is still going to be popular in 2024, bringing in pops of that green color like your sage, your moss greens, that more earthier tone green is definitely here to stay. Now, the last color that is popular trending for 2024 is blue and more particularly robin's egg blue and cobalt blue following very close behind it now i'm personally not a blue fan but i definitely i think it depends on how you incorporate that color when i think of blue i definitely think of like the ocean or more of a cottage feel but i definitely think it depends on how you incorporate it into your home so the three colors that are going to be on the uprise very popular this year are your browns your neutrals bright blue robin's egg blue and green Another trend is texture. Now we definitely saw a huge boom of lime wash last year and it is gonna continue to stay here because it is definitely a very beautiful texture that it brings to a wall, kind of giving it a more three-dimensional look and bringing a flat surface to have a little bit more movement. Now, more texture to be on the lookout is going to be your ceramic, so through your ceramic tiles, as well as terracotta. Those were two other materials that are gonna be something that is going to be very popular for this coming year of 2024. All right, we are moving into our curves, our patterns, and wallpaper ceilings. So as we are talking about curves, this was definitely something that we saw Right around 2021, there was a lot more of these kind of rounded like shaped sofas and chairs, definitely kind of embodying more of that like 70s feel. And it's definitely staying with us for this year. I think a lot of people are enjoying mixing up those more modern hard shapes with that softer element like sofas and armchairs. So curves are here to stay. Patterns is still very popular. We saw a lot of this happening between mixing patterns from floral print, checker print, this is definitely something that is booming for this year. Now, the one pattern that is on the outs is checker print. I saw this coming. I definitely think checker print is a very popular and timeless pattern, but we saw a lot of it last year, and I'm definitely guilty of getting sucked into that trend because I truly love checker print, but I did pops of it, and I think that's where some people went a little bit overboard. They got too much of it, and it just became a little bit overwhelming and dated itself very quickly. But another pattern that they are saying that is going to be trending for this year is polka dot. 
I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. And again, I think it depends on how it is incorporated in our homes, whether it's in a very muted polka dot pattern on like a pillow, maybe a wallpaper. I still have yet to see how this is gonna come out for this year, but that was a pattern that they're saying is gonna be on the tops of lists for people. Now, another thing that I wanted to state was wallpapered ceilings. They're saying that this is gonna be huge for 2024. Again, I'm not quite sure what that looks like if there is a particular pattern that people are going to be doing on their ceilings. I sure as hell would not want to hang wallpaper on a ceiling, but I definitely think it will be a very cool look depending on the room that you do it in. So patterns are here to stay. We are definitely loving them. I definitely think bits and pieces of this is gonna be something that you could definitely incorporate your home. I think patterns are something we could easily switch out, whether it's a pillow cover, a blanket, some sheets, a quilt. Those are very easy patterns to kind of, you know, switch out if you are wanting something fresh without having to break the bank. So definitely herbs, patterns, and wallpapered ceilings are going to be on the uprise for 2024. As we are talking about patterns and curves and wallpapered ceilings, another thing that I wanted to bring to your attention that is going to be trending for this year is herringbone. Now, herringbone is such a classic pattern. A lot of people use this for the wood flooring or their tile. We're gonna be seeing this pattern just in a little bit of a different way. Instead of having the herringbone at a vertical, we are starting to see it at a, at a diagonal. So they're gonna be doing that, that classic pattern with a little bit of a twist. I've seen this in kitchen backsplashes I've also seen this in flooring as well so we're gonna be seeing that kind of classic pattern with a little bit of a modern twist so I wanted to just add that to our topic of curves and patterns and wallpaper so herringbone with a twist expect to see a lot a lot of fluted detailing coming into this year from bathroom vanities kitchen islands and some living room furniture this was something we saw again last year but it is definitely gaining traction based on architectural digest forecast this is a very beautiful beautiful design it's not only visually interesting but it adds so much texture to a space and i love the fact that we are seeing this not just in a table or a coffee table we are now seeing this on cabinetry in kitchens cabinetry in vanities in bathrooms people are definitely getting very creative with this design i've also seen it where people will use the fluting and reading as a backsplash so if you have like open shelving having that reading be the backer of your shelves and it just adds so much visual interest in my opinion i love this trend i'm definitely here for it so definitely anticipate to see a lot more of this coming into this coming year our last and final trend we're going to be discussing is being you being authentically you when it comes to designing your space now i want to read something that i took directly from shay mcgee when it came to projecting 2024's home decor trends she said be authentically you in 2024 maximus is where things are heading heavy patterning from wallpaper to textile prints or highly saturated colors occupying a smaller space if you like the look you can lean into clustering a curated collection of collected found repurposed and antique objects so i definitely think this is something that we all need to take into consideration when it comes to our homes trends are trends for a reason obviously they're there for us as a guideline but i definitely think at the end of the day you guys need to do what you love so gray is a color that is completely out for 2024 i have a gray sofa i purchased it about four years ago when gray was a little bit more on the popular side and here i am i'm not going to go out and sell my couch because gray is no longer trendy keep true to you do what you love curate your home design it how you enjoy because at the end of the day you guys you are the one that is paying the mortgage you are the one paying the rent nobody else lives in your space so if it makes you happy that is all that matters so with this last tip that I got from Shay McGee is that we're definitely seeing a lot more of a maximalist look, not that very minimalist look where it was like one couch, a side table and a piece of art. People are definitely getting very creative with mixing patterns, bringing in those bold colors to their walls, mixing and matching old with new. And I think it is really a beautiful look in my opinion. I think it's where we can see the creativity. We can see the originality for each individual person. We aren't just going to big box store brands and buying an entire collection and throwing it in our home. People are, are definitely finding cool pieces other places and not just going to these big box brands. So definitely shop other places, go vintage shopping, go to an antique, 
boutique shop, curate your own home to be 100% authentically you. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I wanted to keep this rather short and simple and just touch on the trends that resonate with me, things that I think that I could almost incorporate in my home without feeling like I have to go and redo my entire space. So sound off in the comments what you guys think of these trends that are gonna be happening for 2024. Maybe sound off in the comments too if there are ones that I didn't touch on in today's video that you're super excited about or that are a hard no. So I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say, but until next time, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.